can I, can I, can I build your faith for just a moment? See, see, that's what I've been saying to you this morning. It's what God's been dropping in my spirit. And I want to, I want to build your faith this morning. Did, did you know, did you know that in an atmosphere of faith, that anything can happen? Woo! Have y'all ever been in an atmosphere of faith? Come on now. Anybody ever been in an atmosphere of faith? A place that's been saturated. Did you know that I believe that the God that we serve is a God who can heal? He can heal. He can touch you. And I just see that person this morning that got up saying, man, I need a touch from God. I need a touch from God. I need his healing hand on my life. That's what I need. Can I tell you something? I've been there before. I've been there to the point to where I'd say, God, if you don't show up, I don't know what's going to happen. But I know this much. I can't go on the way I am. You know what we'll do, don't you? <laughs> we'll play the game. That's the way this started. We'll play the game. We'll just go through the routine. Well, I got to get up, go to church, and then after we go to church, we're going to go eat, then we're going to go home and take a nap. <laughs> and there's your routine. Well, today I want to pray that God will mess your routine up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Is there somebody here? And, and I know what the Lord specifically has said to me, but if there's, is there somebody here today that would say to me, Pastor Darrell, man, I just need a touch from God. I'm, I'm in that place right now in my life. Anybody? I'm in, I'm in that place in my life. I'm going to wig all my visitors out this morning. You know, Central is an awesome place, amen? We always have visitors, you know that? Bless your heart. We're glad you're here this morning. But I'm not just going to stand up here and sing that this is a house of miracles. Amen. See, 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 what we've got to do is we've got to come to the place. I'm going to come back to you. We've got we to come to the place to where we understand that God wants us, God wants us to be a great church. And you say, well, we are a great church. Listen, I think Central is the greatest place on, but God wants us to be a great church. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's not our church. It's His church. And, and, and listen, you know, you know, y'all know who the church is, right? It ain't these chairs and it ain't these walls. It's the people sitting in the chairs. And can I tell you something about, about the greatness of His church? That you're the only thing that's in this room that is eternal everything else will one day be gone but you my friend you will live for eternity you say well wait a minute the Bible says point unto man yeah your body will die but your spirit will live for eternity so in order to be listen to me in order to be a great church we got to be a grace church I don't know where I'm going with this I'm just going to stick with it all right <laughs> in order to be a great church, we've got to be a grace church. Grace, G-R-A-C-E, grace church. Grace. Y'all understand what grace is because the world has got grace mixed up. Because the world thinks, well, what grace really is, is I can live like I want to live, but there but for the grace of God, go I. You know, I can, I can keep sleeping with her. I can keep, <laughs> I can keep, I can just keep on. And I'm all right. And even a lot of the church has got it messed up, that that's what grace is all about. And that's why the, the homosexual community is so confused. It's because they, they, know, they, they know that Christian people hate them. 
They know that. And here's the problem is, we can't hate them. Amen? But, he, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. We can't condone. But isn't that what grace is? We just condone? Well, you, you don't know. When you, when you, and I'm just using Joe as an example. You get your eating problem under, you know. Here, my, when, when you get your eating problem. <laughs> I don't want to. You, you see what I'm saying? No. But that, listen, what grace is, is great grace is when we give the truth. Because you shall know the and the truth can make you free. There's only th- one way to be free, and that's the truth. And so what we do in our pulpits is we water down the truth so that people will feel comfortable and we show in grace. That's not what grace is. Grace is the fact that you're breathing today. Grace is the fact that you're in this room today. Grace is the fact that God died on the cross for you and gave you an opportunity to be saved. That grace is the fact that he went to Calvary's hill, bled and died that you might know him as your Lord and Savior. And the grace is that you're in this room. You're breathing. So we want to be a grace church where we love people. We love them just like they are, but we're never going to back down from the truth. (laughs) Man, I'm going to tell you something. I love people just the way they are, but I'm going to preach the truth. I had a man the other week. He asked me, he said, he said, and and I'm trying not my best. He asked me the other week, he said, he said, "Uh, Pastor Darrell, he said, can I come to your church and, and drink? And I said, you most certainly can. He said, you ain't going to get mad at me for drinking? I said, I'm not going to get mad at you for drinking. I don't like it. I said, I tell you what. I said, you can come to my church and drink, and I'll be okay with that if you'll be okay with me preaching against it. (laughs) That's right. Because we can't water down the truth. Just because we, but what we can do is show grace, and the grace is the fact, man, I'm going to give you the truth this morning. Here's the truth, praise God. And the truth hurts sometimes, but it can set you free. It's the only thing. Daryl can't set you free. That lawyer can't set you free. That doctor can't set you free. They might can help you, but they can't set you free. Amen. The only thing that can set you free is the truth of God's word. Amen. If we're going to be a great church, we've got to be a relational church. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. I don't know where I'm going with it, but we're going to keep going with it. We've got to be a relational church. You know, you know what relational is? It's when we build relationships. There's horizontal relationships that we have to build. And man, you know what we do? We work hard. We work overtime here at Central. Believe it or not, y'all think we don't, but we work overtime trying to figure out ways for people to be relational. This is why we have Bible studies. This is, this is why we have 10-week men's Bible studies and have 100 men show up. This is why we have 10-week women's Bible studies. This is why we do small groups so that you can build relationships. You're going to grow deeper in God and build relationships with people, lifelong relationships. This is why we do the small things like we've done Friday night with the men's group, like you're going to do this Friday night with the women's group, like we've done two weeks ago with Married Life. Building relationships because we value horizontal relationships. But the number one relationship is the vertical relationship with him. It's the greatest, the greatest relationship that you can have, men. The great, listen, men, the greatest gift that you can give your woman. That's what I tell Don all the time. Woman, the greatest, the greatest relationship, the greatest gift, the greatest thing that you can give your woman wife or your children is your relationship with the king because it's a proven fact that what every woman wants is security and what they just want to know hey you got this and what every man wants is respect <laughs> man that's a fickle thing isn't it good lord and we like we like you know i'm not going to give her security but i want her to give me respect it ain't happening you understand? You understand? The greatest way to get respect is when you get with him. We, we, think, we think that the way to go up the corporate ladder 
is to climb the ladder of success and step on whoever we have to do. But the greatest way to get up the corporate ladder is not by climbing, but by going as low as we can with God, building our relationship with Him. Man, I'm going to tell you something. If we're going to be a great church, we got to be a relational church. Are y'all with me today? Amen. God, God is good. Amen. God is always on time. Am I right? Listen, if we're going to be a great church, we got to be a church that goes after the presence of God. Amen. I want his presence more than I want anything else. You know what I came here today? I didn't come here to see you. I love seeing you, but I came here to get with him, with you. <laughs> Me and you going to get with the Lord this morning. I got all week I can get with him by myself, but I only have a couple times a week that I can gather with you, and we can get in the house of the Lord because the presence of God can change everything. You know what our county needs? You know what our city needs? You know what our churches need? You know what you need? You know what I need? More presence. More presence of the living God. Amen. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to hush. Um, believe it or not. Um, the Lord spoke to me something. You know, we just, we just last year, in August, uh, late August, September, somewhere in there, we started our second campus. Praise God. It's doing phenomenal. Uh, I'm so excited about it. It's doing really good. And you feel the presence of God when you go there. Um, but the Lord spoke some, and I told you last week, we took, oh, by the way, we took up uh, a little over $12,000 for Cambodia. Amen. Amen. So that leads me to this. If, if we're going to be a great church, we've got to be an evangelistic church. To realize that it ain't just in here. You know, we've had over 100 people this year receive the Lord in here, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. But... But, you know, I don't know how many hundreds out there. Because, you know, out there is the mission field, right? We come in here, we get built up. It, we do. We get built up. Maybe convicted about some things. God does that. And maybe have a time together. But when we go out there, we become evangelists. And the call on our life is to be evangelists. To go and share the good news. So, so. I announced to you last week, I got some video, I'll, I'll show it to you next week maybe. Uh, I got some video of the Cambodia church going up. It's doing good, man. It's, good. it's doing really good. And uh, they're built, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm looking forward to going out there in September and uh, dedicating. It's, it's called Central Community Church Cambodia. That's, I think that, that has a certain ring to it. CC, CC. You know what I'm saying? That's good. But here's, here's what I believe with all my heart. I believe that the Lord... I believe the Lord is doing something special here at Central. And the Lord has shown me, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know that there are very, very, very important. There might be a lot more, but very, very important that there are going to be four very specific church plants, four more, so a total of five that's going to come from Central Church. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about locally. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to do great things over, but locally, locally. And so here's, here's, my, here's my thing. Here's what messed me up. Good Lord. Y'all, I'm telling y'all way too much. <laughs> what messed me up was I got to thinking, God, here, here's where I was. I was telling Pastor Don and some other people. I said, man. God wants to do some great things. And the Lord spoke to me and said, because here's what I found out about God. God is Jehovah Jireh. Is he not? He'll provide. Y'all, we, y'all, we seen, we seen some miraculous provision last year. Y'all don't even know. Listen, we, we started a second campus without a pastor. And, and Donna kept saying, what are we going to do about a pastor? What we're gonna do? I said, I don't know, woman. You know, 
I said, I guess you're going to have to go down there and help us. I said, I ain't going to. You know, we was just back and forth. We were, wasn't we, babe? And we were sweating it out. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, God sends exactly who we needed. And I was like, wait now. This, this, I, I told him, I said, don't nobody move. I said, because if you do, you're going to mess it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and God provided. Last year, we lost our worship leader. And can I, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I love him very much, but can I tell you something? God provided. God provided. Don't tell me he ain't a God of provision. I was standing back there Friday night talking with a couple of men, and they was telling, let me tell you what God done in my life. I, they, one one uh, Steve Sheriff, I, was Steve here? Where's he at? Oh, he cooking. Bless his heart, I tell you. They told me to hold y'all, so we got another. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. No, I didn't even know what it was. But anyway, Brother Steve and I were standing right back there at the door talking. He said, can I tell you something? He said, he said, you know, he said, I wrote over 12 books. I wrote 12 books in my life. It's a very smart man. He wrote 12 books. I said, okay. And he said, but I went through a season where I was devastated. He said, and I took everything spiritually, and I'm not talking physically, everything. He said, I buried it in the yard, and I told my wife, I'm not going to preach again, and I'm not going to write again. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. He said, and I meant it. He said, Pastor Darrell. He said, that was a year ago. He said, did you know that in the past year I have written five books? He said, God has restored me. Can I tell you something? What I found out is that God is a God of provision. God will meet you right where you are. He'll meet every need that you have. Amen? So back to the, where I'm at. I'm going to shut up. Um, and the Lord began to speak to me that that every, we're going to need pastors. <laughs> Amen. We're going to need worship leaders. We're going to need leaders, period. Because here's what the, and I'm just going to tell you, I told them Friday night, here's what the Lord told me. Because the Lord said, because I'm not going to do the way I done last time. Because last time I didn't have to do anything but just say, Lord, I just, I need a pastor. And he sent it. But here's what the Lord spoke to me. It's time to be a house of production. Are y'all with me? A house of production where we are producing and getting ready for what God is going to do. Amen. I'm finna run. We'll get ready for what God is going to do, Brother Chris. And, and here's what the Lord began to speak to me about. Was that he said, he said but not only are you going to have a lot of young people that you're going to produce if you'll set your heart toward me. He said, but there's a lot of people there. He said, there's a lot of people there, men and women, that are so broken from the chains of ministry and being abused and being broken and shattered in a lot of ways. And here's what God said to me. He said, and in this moment, I'm breathing life into them if they will accept it from me. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know who you are in this house. I know God sent us a lot of pastors. God ain't through with you, sir. God's not through with you, ma'am. You, did y'all know women can be pastors? Come on now. We act like a woman. You know, you know what we want to do to our women? We want to tell them, we'll say, whoosh, sit down, woman. Bible says you can't even open your mouth. Try that one. <laughs> there ain't nothing biblical about that. Not a thing. No. Because he said, in the last days, saith God, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters, they're going to prophesy. Woo! Y'all know what prophecy is, don't you? Prophecy is when you get up and you proclaim the name of the Lord. Y'all know, y'all know who the first person was that, that y'all know who the first person was that was told go and tell. It was Mary Magdalene, a harlot, who didn't have listen, that didn't have anything in her life. God told her, you go and tell. 
So, he's calling, and he's going to restore, and he's going to heal. So today, in this moment, I'm just going to say it, it's time. It's time. I almost heard, y'all ever heard that ringside announcer, how he'll get up and say, it's time! It's time. The devil is a liar, and he's, the devil steps into the ring already defeated. I didn't even have to fight it. I didn't have to fight it. He fought my battle. He won. He's got the victory. It is finished. Oh, you ought to give God some praise for the finished work of the cross. I can live. I can move. I can walk in my identity of the finished work. Hey! Hey! So, I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you need a touch from God, if you are broken, if you felt like God was done, He wants to breathe some new life into you. Ma'am, sir, if you feel the report is overwhelming, if you feel the separation is too much to bear, come let me speak the name of Jesus over everything that touches your life. He's in this room. Amen? Who will come? Who will come? Anybody that would say to me, Pastor Darrell, that's me. I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. Just come stand right here. Just come stand right here. We're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you. And I know some of y'all think, oh, Lord, here we go. We're going to be here all day. Praise God. Wouldn't it be worth it to be here all day when God's doing a work? He's doing an all-day work and an all, a, great, a great work. Amen? Come on. Come on. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Come on. Who am I talking to? Come on, don't wait, don't wait. Sometimes that's what we do. You know, we wait to see who else is going to move. Don't worry about who else is going to move. God's got you here. God's made provision for you. Amen? 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 All right, I want the whole congregation to stretch your hands toward this way. Y'all ready? All right, let me get... Some of my altar team, come help me. Get behind these people. Just go, get behind them and lay your hands on them. Mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just lay your hands on them. You're going to feel somebody touching you on your back or maybe on the back of your head or something like that. Hold, hold that right there, just like that. All right, altar team, begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Come on, begin to pray. Lay your hands on them, mighty man of God, mighty woman of God. Come on, vessel, begin to pray. Begin to ask God to do some things. We're going to pray corporately here in just a minute, but go ahead and be- begin to pray and ask God to do some things. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Lord, I lay my hands on this man and woman, and I speak life over them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Stir up the gifts of God inside of them and use them in a mighty, mighty way. Take what the enemy meant to destroy and use it as a stepping stone to next level, next level living, God. We thank you for it. And we praise you for it. We declare your goodness over them. I speak a peace into the storm. I speak a peace into everything that's touching their life. Lord, I thank you that you're calling forth things. You're rearranging things. Do what only you can do today, God. You're a great God. You're a mighty God. On time, God. Use this woman. Use this man in a mighty, mighty way. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I speak life over this man from head to foot. In the name of Jesus, I speak life over this man from head to foot. Everything that the devil thought was going to take him out has been a stepping stone now to the next level. Yes, 
greater is he that's in him than he that's in this world. More than a conqueror. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus, touch. Touch this young man, Lord. Cause you. Well, he's got his hand all over you right now. All over you. There's a call that's there. Lord, have your way in this young man. Use him in a mighty way. I declare the devil is a liar right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, he's a liar right now. Every wicked thing that comes against him in the name of Jesus falls Null and void by the wayside. Not speak life over him. Yeah. Stir up the gifts of God inside of him. Use him, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. This woman, Lord, every everything that's touching her life right now in this moment. Hey, touch her, Lord. Cause your presence to fall down over her in a mighty, mighty way. I declare that everything that's attacking her life right now, the devil is a liar. The enemy is defeated. In the name of Jesus, fill every void in her life. Yes, every void in her life. Yes, every void in her life. Every single void. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost and ah, ah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stir it up, Lord. Stir it up. Stir up the gifts of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do what only you can do, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, cause your spirit to rain down over this woman in a mighty, mighty way. Hey, you're a great God. Yes, you are. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You make all things new. All things new. Hey. Yes, you are. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Well up. Well up. Well up. Well up. Well up. Well up. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Yes, Holy Ghost and fire. Have your way. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost of fire. Holy Ghost of fire. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Everything the devil thought was going to take her out. Here she stands right here in this place today. Thank you for your goodness in her life, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, have your way in this young man, Lord. Do what only you can do. He's seeking hard after you. Do a work in his life. Stir up the gifts of God inside of him, Lord. Hey. Come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on him. Come rest on him, Lord. Come rest on him, Lord. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Lord, have, cause your spirit to rain down over this man. And every every foul place, Lord, that the enemy would tell him, oh, you was defeated right there. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that today what I see is I see a man where you are his victory. You are the conqueror. You are the one who is able to do exceeding. Now cause your spirit to rise up inside of him. Stir up the gifts of God inside of him from head to foot in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Cause your spirit to rain down over this woman. You're good, God. You're a mighty God. Do what only you can do. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. There's your victory stance. There's your victory stance. There's your victory stance. Right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Spirit of the living God, rain down over this man. 
Do what only you can do, God. Stir up the gifts of God inside of you. We give you a praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost and fire. Hey! Yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're all we want. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hey. Hey. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Rain down over this man. Do what only you can do in his life. Stir up the gifts of God inside of it. Use him in a mighty way. Holy Ghost. Hey. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, you welcome here. Come flood this place. Come flood this place. Come flood this place. Come flood this place. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Hey! 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 Yes! 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 Lord, you're able to heal. Yes, 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 yes. inside of us now allow the holy ghost and fire to well up inside of this woman and use her in a mighty way stir up the gifts of god inside of her like never before god and we're gonna make sure you get all the praise and all the glory for it When you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Come on, church. Come on, church. Sing it. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Holy Spirit. trying to remember where it was in the scripture some of you Bible scholars may know there was a place in the New Testament I believe it was I forget who it was they called Donna who did they call to come down and lay hands on them that they might receive the Holy Ghost Peter and John there you go they called on Peter and John that they might come down and lay hands on them that they might receive the Holy Ghost 
and they came down and listen they were they were not only were they saved they were baptized and they were filled with the Holy Ghost amen <laughs> and you know what the Bible says listen to me I want, I want to sing that song one more time we're gonna we're gonna sing that one one more time but because I thought about this right in the middle of that do you know what the Bible says about that city that city that city not not that church that city it says and there was great joy in the city amen come on you want some great joy where's my Holy Ghost people at where's my Holy Ghost feel hey where's my people that know that God has touched your life and it would if it wasn't for God you wouldn't be here Give the Lord a hand clap of praise in here.